everyone, my name is Rachel, I'm with the MPCR Lab, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up ML Agents in Unity on a fresh install of Ubuntu. So these instructions apply to anyone who is trying to install Unity in the ML Agents package. Um, using a different operating system, you might want to follow some other directions. You can try to watch this video and see if you know enough around the, uh, your own operating system to make it work for you but we're gonna be using the terminal for some of these commands. It shouldn't be too long, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a fresh install of Ubuntu on here, 2020, with this beautiful little cat diagram they have. So what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna do two optional steps first, so just bear with me. The first thing we're gonna do is install this, or we're gonna download this GitHub repository for Unity Technologies ML Agents. I'm gonna drop all the links and commands down in the comments below so you guys don't have to search for them. So we are just going to go ahead and clone this. If you have git installed, you can just say git clone, and we're gonna paste the repository in there, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. I already have it installed, so it said fatal destination. Otherwise, it would just install it for you. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to install Anaconda. This step again is optional. It's recommended because it helps with version control. Um, if you already have Anaconda installed, just hang on for a couple seconds. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, and I'm using this very wonderful guide from Linux Eyes. I did not write this. These are just uh, a free resource on the internet that I found that works. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and install all the dependencies and I already have them installed, so that's good. If you didn't have them installed, it's going to try to install them for you. And then next, we are going to install the actual file that will install and run Anaconda. So we're gonna get that using wget from the internet. It's gonna go ahead and pull that file. And again, this is only if you need to install Anaconda. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and run that Anaconda installer file with the bash command. It's gonna say, welcome to Anaconda 3. In order to continue, please review the license. So you're gonna hit enter. You're going to very carefully read all of these documents and then hit yes, that you accept the license terms if you do and tell where you wanna install it. This is a fine location for me. It's, go ahead, it's gonna go ahead and unpack all of the things it wants to unpack to install Anaconda. All right, so that works. And then one thing that we're gonna wanna do, uh, totally again optional when you're installing, but I think it's a good thing to do to be able to see what's going on, uh, where you are in the condo environment, is just add this to your, uh, your paths. So you can do that with this source bash command right here, and it'll say base. And if it says base, that's good. That means that you're not in the condo environment. So we're gonna go ahead and create a conda environment for ourselves. We're just gonna say conda create dash n, dash n is for name, give it a name. So I'm gonna call it ML Agents 20 because that's the version I'm gonna work with just in case I wanna mess around with other versions later. You can name it whatever you want. Hit enter. It's automatically gonna initialize and ask for a location and initialize with Python 3.6. That's what we want. So we, we're not actually in that Conda environment yet. The next thing we have to do is say Conda, activate, and then the name we just gave it, which is ML Agents 20 or whatever you named it. So now you'll see over here next to my user info, it says ML Agents 20. That means we're in this Conda environment. So everyone that's not using Conda, this is where you wanna jump back in at. Okay, so we're in our Conda environment and we wanna go ahead and install ML Agents. So what we're gonna do in order to install the ML Agents Python package is we're going to say Python 3-m pip3, or you can just say pip, install ML Agents. And it's going to install it for you. Okay, if you're not in condo environment, you can probably get away with just saying pip3 install ML Agents. So now that we've done that, we can check our installation by going to uh, opening a Python interpreter here, and then just saying import ML Agents, 
And if we don't get an error, that's a good thing. Okay, so we can exit out of that. Now we've installed ML Agents and we've installed TensorBoard. And if we're working in Conda, we've done that in our Conda environment. Now we are ready to install Unity. So we can go ahead and go to this website, store.unity.com slash blah, blah, blah. And I will provide this link in the description below. So go ahead and click on first time user, start here, hit agree and download. Um, if you're not signed in to Unity, you'll probably have to sign in and make an account. And then once you get to this installer page where you want to save the unityhub.app image file, go ahead and click OK. Save that. Now, once we've saved that, it should show up in our downloads. So there it is. Sometimes this file is not executable. So what you want to do is in your terminal, in your terminal here, you want to go ahead and go into your downloads folder or wherever that file just went and we'll see that our Unity Hub app image is in there. And we want to make that executable. So we just have to go chmod plus x and then um, Unity Hub app image. And so that should make that executable. So now that that's executable, we can go back into our, um, I'm just gonna close that for now. We can go back over here to where this is and open it up. So when it opens up, it's automatically gonna start installing and you're just gonna follow the prompts. It may take a while to do that, so I already have it loaded up here after it installs to show you guys uh, the next step. We're almost done. One thing you might wanna do is drop this uh, application on your desktop so you can access it easily just by clicking on that um, so you don't have to go looking for it every time. Okay, so now that you're here, you should be logged in under your username. If you're collaborating with anyone, you'll see files uh, that are collaborating in the cloud. You wanna go down to installs and you wanna install Unity. You probably won't have anything here yet. So you're gonna hit add and then you're gonna choose a version of Unity you wanna install. I recommend 2020 because they just released some really awesome features for researchers and developers. So if you're interested in that, do 2020. Otherwise, 2019 is the one I'd recommend. Just like it says recommended release up here. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna hit next. You're gonna make sure you have your Linux build support selected or anything else you might wanna build. And you're gonna hit done and it's gonna start installing that for you um, and it's going to take a while so once that's done go ahead and just re restart your computer for good measure you don't have to but I think it's a good idea because we just installed and made a lot of changes so that's it guys that's all we did today so I just want to recap really quickly you want to uh, if you're using Conda make a new Conda environment and then go inside the environment if you're not using Conda these next steps are the same pip install ML Agents, pip install TensorBoard, and then go to the Unity website, download the Unity Hub app image, make that file executable, and then open it. Once you open it, you will get to the Unity Hub screen, and you can go under Installs and install your version of Unity by selecting Add and following the prompts. So that's what we did today, guys. I hope it's really helpful. Um, if you have any questions, drop in the comments below. And like I said, I'll leave everything in the description below so you can just quickly go through this on your own pace. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys uh, stay tuned with us and subscribe so you can see more awesome videos as we get started working on this cool, awesome un new Unity package.